Hello everyone and welcome back to the Jack Rye channel. Today we are going over 13 pretty epic cars that you can get possibly as your first car if you have a budget of £5,000. Now the first eight are going to be £5,000 including insurance depending on your area and all stuff like that but these are some cheaper cars that will probably get up to five grand when you include insurance as well and then the last five are some fun little ones if the five grand budget is just for the car itself so let's get started now the first one is a pretty decent one which you might not know that you could get as a first car and that is a toyota celica mid 2000s model now these come in a variety of shapes and sizes and engines, but the one you want to go for, if you want a pretty decent one, is the 1.8 VVTi. And we can see these here, that they're pretty good, they're pretty highly specced as well. And they look good, they sound good, they're good little cars with chunky little engines, and you even get a spoiler on some of them. And a Hood scoop, what else could you want? So, this is the first car. It is a pretty, pretty good car. I'm not gonna lie. If I had one of these as my first car, I'd be, I'd be more than happy with that. So, that is the first option a Toyota Celica. Now, number two is something probably you'd expect a Ford Fiesta. However, because you have a bit more budget and because you're a bit more of a baller, you could possibly find yourself in the ST model. Now there's some here showing that you can get a pretty decent ST for half your budget around the £2,500 mark and these are good little cars. The 2 litre ST is a, it's, it's a little beast, what do you mean? Especially as your first car it is a little good thing to rock around in and look pretty cool in. So you can, you got a Fiesta ST, I wouldn't go around telling people you've got an ST to people that don't know about cars because you might take it a, a different way however this is a pretty good car and obviously you can see by the pictures one of them has stripes so yeah it's a good car for your first car for less than five grand <laughs> now next something again that you might expect a skoda fabia however the vrs model now this is a diesel sporty car and the 1.9 PD is a brilliant little engine. It has plenty, plenty of performance on it for the little Skoda. And you can get it in a variety of colours. And the only thing you'll have to look out for is the mileage on them, as some of these can be racked up. And some of these do get ragged around a lot because they are pretty powerful little cars. So just make sure everything's in working order if you go and get one. Similar with the ST previously. Now the next car moving up a little bit will be a Honda Civic. Now we have this newer looking model which is one that some people aren't really a fan of. But I don't think it looks too bad, I think it looks quite futuristic. But again, this is a decent model you can get for under £5,000, either a 1.4 or a 1.8 for this one. But I chose the Type S, so you have a little bit of a sporty package, you've got the nice bumpers and a uh, sporty little engine and then we have this option which is an older looking model which is a type s also depending if you just prefer the look of this one over the newer one they are very similar spec and similar engines however this one is a little bit bigger because it's a bit older now next we're going a bit more sensible with the peugeot 208 now i have a soft spot for this car I don't own one, but I do I do really like the way it looks. I do think it is a brilliant looking little car. And if you're wanting something like this, go ahead. The Peugeot 208 is a brilliant little car. Now the VTI, Active, Access, whichever one you want to go for, they are good little cars with the 1.2 or the 1.4 litre engines. Now these, again, you can get for under half the budget if you can find one or just a bit over around the three grand or the 2500 pound mark 
and some of these do have semi-low mileage as they are sort of modern but not really but yeah if you're looking for something like this this again is a brilliant choice for your first car if you have a bit more money to spend now we're going for something that's a bit more close to home a volkswagen polo 1.6 sport now this is something that you might want to pick up it is a good little car again for under half the budget so if your insurance is a tad high you do have that allowance to pay for that now this 1.6 is a good car you know if you can afford the 1.6 go for it if you can't maybe go for the 1.4 but i'd try and stay away from the 1 litre or the 1.2 because the 1.4 and the 1.6 are the better choices in terms of power delivery and again sound if that's something important to you but these are brilliant brilliant little cars and for under half the budget for some of them that is a no brainer for me next we have something a bit riskier but a lot cooler a Volkswagen Golf 2.3 litre VR5 now you could get a VR6 in budget but there aren't many and they could be a bit ropier <coughs> So this is a brilliant, brilliant option if you want something with a very unusual engine, but a brilliant one nonetheless. But again, with this sort of car, you are going to want to check out that it hasn't been absolutely caned its entire life because it is a really chunky little engine, a really good little powerhouse. So just make sure it's been looked after, its MOT history looks good and everything's working on it. And then again with all of these cars if you want a car person or know too much about cars definitely bring someone along a mechanic a family member that does know something so they can help you out when you go and check it out and then last but not least in our sensible budget we have an audi a3 now this car is a quite a popular one for obvious reasons it's an audi it's an a3 it's a smart good looking little car with again a variety of engines you can go for the 1.4 through to the 1.9 and the 2 litre now obviously as the engine size increases the insurance will increase exponentially along with that so if that is something that you can afford then i'd say go for it because this little audi a3 will treat you right it is a brilliant little car and you can get the sport models if you can afford it and then if not just a bog standard audi a3 will still make you look pretty baller especially as your first car and then that's our eight sensible options now we have the sensible options however the five grand is the budget for just the car the insurance is just an afterthought so we're going to go ahead the first one here is a volkswagen up oh, you gotta love that up you can't not a 2013 one liter again it doesn't sound very overwhelming but it weighs next to nothing and it is a brilliant little car Next we have a Renault Clio, now this could be considered a bit boring, but I think it's a very smart looking car, and especially if five grand is your budget, these are very well specced, and you can get a pretty decent model Renault Clio. Next we have a BMW 1 Series, again a really nice little car, especially for your first car if the budget is £5,000. Now this sports hatchback is a bit of a risky one because it is a BMW and a one series so just make sure everything works all right and the MOT history isn't too suspect and then the last two we have an Audi TT 3.2 litre for five thousand pounds now you could go for the 1.8 turbo or the smaller engines that will get you definitely within budget but this is definitely a good option if you can afford it and then last but not least we have an Alfa Romeo Mito now this is a 1.4 with plenty of power, 140 brake horsepower, and for £5,000, I don't think you can get many cars that are much better than a beautiful looking little Mito. Some people don't like them, but I, 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 do, I do like these cars, they're quite nice. But yeah, they are our options for your first cars, running through them one last time if you've forgotten and don't want to go through again. We have the Toyota Celica the Ford Fiesta ST, the Skoda Fabia VRS, the Honda Civic, the Peugeot 208, a Volkswagen Polo Sport, a Volkswagen Golf VR5, an Audi A3, a VW Up, a Renault Clio, a BMW 1 Series, 
an Audi TT 3.2 or an Alfa Romeo Mito. Now they are some brilliant options, so definitely go ahead, check them out, go on some insurance comparison websites and see what you can afford. And this video was requested by Connor Moore, so thanks for the video request and I hope this is somewhat acceptable for you and I hope you enjoyed it. And everyone else, I hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you do like, comment, subscribe to see more videos like this and stay updated with everything also Forza Horizon 5 along with I might be doing some car related things in the near future with my current car. But until then, I'll see all of you in the next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.